Hello everybody, Amanda Davis here, and this is just going to be a quick scope for the Perry Newbies group. Um, and Perry Newbies is perrynewbies.com, and you can join us if you are a man or a woman, but we have the 100 scope challenge, and yesterday was day 53, but I didn't get to the topic yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and start with yesterday's topic first. And um, so the topic was to share a recipe, and so I was trying to think on what recipe I wanted to share. And hopefully what I say here makes enough sense. But anyway, my family makes a macaroni and cheese that is really good, or I think it's really good. My family thinks it's really good. Um, but it was passed down starting with my dad's grandmother, and then his mom started making it, and then my mom modified it just a little bit, and um, I've made it a couple times myself. I don't have kids yet, so we haven't. it hasn't gotten any further than me yet. But anyway... <laughs> Um, and I don't know that my brother or any of my cousins have ever made it, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, so my mom, the way that she makes it is the way that I was going to share. But anyway, basically macaroni and cheese, easy enough. You get your macaroni noodles and, um... So you're going to boil those until they're tender. And then what we do is we add it to a casserole dish and you add um, shredded cheddar cheese. We usually use the Cracker Barrel Sharp Cheddar Cheese. And um, so we usually either you would have to hand grate it, which is kind of a pain, or my mom likes to use a salad shooter that is basically it automatically grates it because it's um, a kind of thing that like shreds your vegetables. And so she uses it to shred the cheese into little shredded cheese pieces. Um, um, so that it doesn't take as long because hand grating it definitely takes a long time. But I have done that. Um, <laughs> one of the times that I made it, that's what I did. And then I was like, never again. But I did one time also make it with um, a different brand of cheddar cheese. And I can't remember what brand I used. Probably Kraft or something like that. That was already shredded because I was like, I have not taken that time to grate that cheese. But anyway, you want cheddar cheese is what you want. It, want and you want it to be shredded. And so you add that to it. Um, I would say it's probably at least a couple cups of it, um, maybe even three cups, because you want to make sure you have enough cheese for it to be mac and cheese. And then what we do is we take a can of diced tomatoes, and we add that to it. And that's what makes it a little bit different, because mac and cheese, you're not used to having something like tomatoes in it, but we do add the tomatoes to it. And then the way that my mom made it a little bit different is she adds a dash of milk. And then you put it in the oven, and I want to say that we used the temperature of 350. That sounds right, because I know it wasn't very hot, and it shouldn't be very... And 350 is like your average kind of temperature. So I want to say... So you put it in there at 350, and it's for about 30 minutes, um, because you don't... So Because it, it's already cooked, because you cooked your macaroni noodles. So 30 minutes is about the amount of time that it goes in there for. Um, thank you for inviting your followers, Floor. Um, and it might even be closer to like 20, 25 minutes because it doesn't take very long, but we usually make sure that the cheese on the top is crisp because usually what we do is we mix it in with cheese and the tomatoes and then we coat it with the top with a top layer of the shredded cheese um, so that you have that top layer that makes crispy cheese and um, so that's what we like to do when we make our macaroni and cheese. Hopefully that made enough sense, <laughs> I guess, since Floor decided to heart it up and give, and invite her followers. Um, oh, yes, we do usually add a little bit of butter. I think they only add, though, um, like one tablespoon probably. But, yes, thank you for reminding me about the butter because um, I know it's not a lot of butter. It's like, you know, your little, like that little, so I think it's just the one little tablespoon of butter that they usually add. Um, and, yes, sharp cheddar cheese is what they use. Um and there's a brand, Cracker Barrel is the one that we usually use because it comes in a bar and it's like perfectly enough to use for your, um, for your amount, what you want to have. But then, um, like I said, I have used other brands just because it was easier because it was already graded up and I didn't want to have to hand grade it. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's just different. Like I said, it's basically your basic mac and cheese and then you add the tomatoes um, because that's what makes it different. Because I've had other mac and cheeses that were made similar without the tomatoes. And um, so that's really how they make it different, though, is adding the tomatoes. But anyway, thank you for joining live and thank you for the hearts. I do appreciate it. And I hope that that somewhat made sense and that if you decide to try making it, that it 
comes out successful for you. <laughs> um, and I am going to go ahead and end this scope, but I will see everybody in my next scope. Thanks again. Bye, guys. Thank you to anyone that happens to catch the replay.